Remember, this is Rochelle Morgan here from the Show Me Hope program with Tri-County Mental Health and Soundscaping Source. And we are here to help all of us to move through the pandemic together, to deal with disaster distress, and to have emotional health in the midst of all of this that we are dealing with. And of course, we've been dealing with this for over a year now. And at this point, we are going through a big transition where masking requirements are changing all over our region. So over the course of the pandemic, all of us have had to adapt, adjust our behavior because of new science coming out and new rules in the places where we live and work. And, and so for a long time, we were required to wear masks everywhere that we went to protect ourselves and to protect others. Well, now that more people are getting vaccinated and we have some new science, um, those mask requirements are being um, rescinded or being dropped in lots of the places where we move throughout our lives or move through our days. And there's a good chance you're having some feelings about this. And people are all over the map. Um, whether, you know, you want to keep wearing your mask or you want people to stop wearing their masks or, you know, you want this kind of requirement or that kind of rule here or there or wherever it is that you are. Um, a thing that's universal are the big feelings and the distress that a lot of people are experiencing. It's possible that you have found yourself in a public space or thinking about going to a public space and are feeling upset about the uh, way other people are behaving in terms of wearing masks or not. Um, there could be anger, there could be fear, there could be irritability, you know, um, lots of lots of things that you might be feeling. I've been having those feelings too. So what do we do? What do we do when we're in a public space and somebody isn't doing what we want them to do? Um, you know, confrontation is often not helpful. Um, feeling anxious and worried and upset is uncomfortable, often isn't helpful. So I wanted to give you something concrete that you can do to help yourself or the people with you in the moment uh, to deal with some of that distress. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to send out some good wishes to that person. <laughs> okay, so depending on your spiritual tradition, you might have other words for this practice. It could be saying a prayer, speaking a blessing, um, sending loving kindness, you know, sending an intention to the universe. Depending on your spiritual tradition, you might have other words for this. But the basic idea is that it's an internal thing, something you do in your own, from your own heart, in your own head, or you could say it out loud um, if you're, you know, in your car or something. And and uh, it's not meant for the other person to hear necessarily, but it's something that you are doing yourself. And by saying, "I wish for them to have a good day," "I wish for them to experience peace and safety." I hope that they are enjoying the sunshine. Something as simple as that can help us to relax. It can help us to feel some peace internally for ourselves. And then it can be something that helps our communities to have more kindness and cohesion as we move through this very difficult transition together. Okay? So whether it's saying a prayer, speaking a blessing, or simply wishing somebody well, this is a very simple practice that will help you to deal with the anxiety and fear in the moment when you see somebody who is behaving differently than you would choose um, in regards to masking, okay? So I would love to hear if you have tried that and what kinds of things you do when you see people out in the community who are not doing what you would choose to do. And please know that this is a very difficult period that we're moving through. There's a lot of change, a lot of uncertainty. And we've all been dealing with a trauma for the last year collectively. So if you or somebody that you know is experiencing extra distress because of the pandemic, we have a disaster distress helpline that is available 24 hours, seven days a week, call or text to be connected with a crisis counselor. This is free and anonymous crisis counseling, no insurance, no medical records, nothing like that. It's a really easy way to access mental health support. The number is going to be below this video in the description box. It will also be at the end of the video. All right? So I'm wishing you some kindness and lightness and sweetness in your day today. And I will see you again in another video. Mm -hmm.